I probably just don't want to take them off. But so here we're walking in the front door. We have a sitting room with a wood stove. As we walk in, there's that view. We have other people here too, so they're going to be coming in. Hopefully you can hear me. So nice grand stairway. We walk into the formal dining room. Cool floors. These are like red oak or something, but there's a lot of defect in it, so they're they're kind of they're kind of cool. Walk into a very large kitchen. I don't know if my phone is really giving you the scale of this, but it's it's pretty good size. I mean, it's like six seven steps across here. Decent cabinetry, tall, nice hood. Very well fitting refrigerator there, kind of cut into the bank. There's actually a house up above it. I'll show you outside after I'm done with this one because oh, it just got really um, kind of congested with all the people. But this room is awesome. This is a big living room. I mean, this room is really nicely large. It's really well done, very cozy. It's like when you walk in here, the, the sound changes. It must be like insulated or I don't know what it is, but definitely would be a good media room. That door there is like a, oh, it's like the media closet. So there's a couple of panels in there and maybe looks like a little bit of electronic on this side. So we have kind of a roughed in patio out here looking out into the timber and the road's not too far down over there. So you'll hear it some, um, but it's mainly residential traffic. So you'll notice the traffic, especially when people are going to work and coming home, there's no real industry at the end of it. Here's the master. They have a nice ductless system. Um, nice room, very nice. So these are nine foot ceilings, flat ceilings, but nice. Um, the master bath is decent. I mean, it's very pleasant. The grays and different things kind of blend well in here. quite sure what that is. I'll look on the other side and see if I see a door, but kind of a modern sink setup. Decent trim package, like high-end Home Depot stuff. Not super, super high-end, but you know, decent. This is a blind that just kind of goes out the back. It looks like they have a little storage structure there again I'll go back out oh they have some nice electronics here at this little desk station okay so coming out of the kitchen we have a full bath here decent nice little vanity a little bit a little bit fancy kind of a roughed out tile but just a one-piece shower so pretty simple stuff but decent nice little window up there Next, we have an office. I mean, it's an office, but it's also got a closet. So, you know, it could be a bedroom if you needed it to be. Here's the garage, and these people want to be in the movies, I know. So just a decent garage, not oversized. Um, a lot of stuff in it, but there's some workbenches there, and we'll go upstairs. Nice window setup. I mean, that thing is 16 feet tall. It really makes this room, actually. Two of them. It's super high ceilings. Okay, so we get to the top. We have a large, cool fan there. We have a second master. This may be the main master, I'm not sure. The big bedroom, looks like they're using it for the master. So you have a master bedroom downstairs and a master bedroom upstairs with dual sinks. A jetted tub and a nice enclosed tile shower. Two heads, they call that a friendship shower. I'll give that one to you guys free. <laughs> Decent sized closet. Have some nice closet organizers in it. Okay.
notice the the trim and kind of the soffit light system up there it's nice a little trim kind of a just the way this whole thing connects they obviously didn't save every penny they could on the drywall that's fairly intricate and here we have the third main bath or excuse me the third full bath same type of hardware and plumbing one piece surround nice little view back out towards the driveway and here's just a little view down that's well, really grand entry nice views out that way let's see if I can bring that in no they're pretty though okay so here's the laundry upstairs laundry room with a sink and there is your hot water heater and that is electric we have bedroom three here this is a big room that is 16 feet down I'm sure um, this is the blue ribbon view here you're looking west the big mountains around here are always west but that's just a champion view right there look at that yeah that's pretty you can see that's 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 melrose road so it's you know i, I wouldn't guess how many cars a day it has but it's definitely residential traffic you'll get a few it's got quite a bit of area that it connects into not bad nothing like that one up the north umqua that we did and that's a much um, busier highway and here's another room about the same size very generous I mean two twin beds and you still have I I know this is this thing has got to be 20 feet long really cool actually I like the layout there's your view out this way and there gives you a little bit of a ground I know you had a question how much would have to be mowed I'm pretty sure that once it stops raining so when all that turns brown you're still gonna have to mow it three times with something hand mower so I'm guessing you've got a couple of acres of hillside that is probably not going to be the funnest thing in the world you could probably hire somebody to do it um, you know for a couple hundred bucks three or four times a year at the most because when it stops raining here you don't have to really mow anymore you'll get some um, you'll get some weeds growing up but pretty much the grass stops growing Okay, well that's it for inside. I'll, I'll take a quick wrap, lap around outside. Okay, we'll just take a quick lap around outside here. We're up on this knob. There's a little deck out the upper master and a little deck out the dining room. There's that, I mean it's nice. It's kind of compacted gravel out here, but nothing fancy when it comes to that little patio situation. But here you can see this is this is your property, so that'll all have to be mowed a couple of times. That is not going to be much fun. I'm just going to tell you. It'd be hard to do on a machine. You'd have to do it with a like a light push mower, maybe. I mean, it wouldn't be bad. A couple hours, two or three times a year. This is hardy plank siding, so that's good stuff. Too bad it's rainy today, but really nice views. Back up to the bedrooms the two-car garage nice door beautiful lawn out here the little extra room here if this wasn't here you'd have a lot of parking all paved and so you've got a little bit of a shared driveway thing up to a house up above you here on this approach okay we've got so it's kind of raining on me a little bit 